Welcome to another edition of Biloxi A to Z, the insider's guide to what's happening in Biloxi. This is being recorded for Thursday, November 9th, 2023. The November BTV lineup is airing now. We'll tell you where Biloxi Cooks takes place this month. Mayor Andrew Fofo Gillich had breakfast with the Chamber audience this week. We'll tell you more about the gathering and what Mayor Gillich said about city projects. Christmas is a little over a month away. The Biloxi Visitor Center is now selling its Christmas shirts and ornaments. We'll take a look at the items. New pickleball courts are now set up on Howard Avenue just south of Hopkins Boulevard. We'll tell you who to contact to use the courts. Biloxi City Council met this week. We'll tell you where you can find a recording of this week's meeting. And we'll take a look at the weekend forecast and a list of events happening this weekend in Biloxi. We begin with the November BTV lineup. This month on BTV or Biloxi Television, you can take a stroll down memory lane with this month's special presentation of postcards and photos of yesteryear. The hour-long presentation runs daily in November at 8 a.m., 2 p.m., and 8 p.m. On Biloxi Cooks, we head over to the Beau Rivage for some southern cuisine with a twist. The chef of salt and ivory cooks up lump crab cakes with holiday sauce and poached eggs. The new episode of Biloxi Cooks airs daily this month at 7 a.m., 1 p.m., and 7 p.m. BTV is available online by clicking here. It is also available to Biloxi residents on Spark like Channel 56 and AT&T Channel 99. You can see the full program listing in the November issue of B News Monthly. Mayor Andrew Fofo Gillage met with a Biloxi Chamber audience Wednesday morning for breakfast with the mayor at Edgewater Mall. Mayor Gillage discussed the progress of city projects such as the Pops Ferry Extension, Pops Ferry Bridge, Pops Ferry Causeway Loop Pier, Point Cadet Marina Floating Docks, Pops Ferry Pickleball Restrooms and Pavilion, and the Sanger Theater. He also mentioned the continuous development in Biloxi, including the Kyvet Cottages, the Barks Building, Slim Chickens, and Toasted Yolk. Christmas is a little over a month away. The Biloxi Visitor Center is getting festive and is now selling its Christmas shirts and ornaments. The long sleeve Christmas shirt is available for $28 plus tax. The one of a kind lighthouse ornament is available for $20 plus tax. Both are available at the Biloxi Visitor Center gift shop. So stop by the center's gift shop any day between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. and pick up a Christmas gift for someone or even for yourself. The increasingly popular game of pickleball has once again expanded in Biloxi. Pickleball courts are now set up on Howard Avenue just south of Hopkins Boulevard and the Bond Grant House. The courts are available daily at various times. For more information, contact the Biloxi Downtown Services Division at 228-435-6339 or email kmiller at biloxi.ms.us. The Biloxi City Council met on Tuesday to address a number of issues. To see a recording of the meeting, visit online at biloxi.ms.us. Click here, then click here. All non-emergency city offices will be closed on Friday in observance of Veterans Day. The Biloxi Visitor Center will remain open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and be opened throughout the weekend. The weekend's weather forecast calls for mostly cloudy skies and a high probability of much needed rain. The daytime highs are expected to be around 70 degrees and the evening lows around 60. Every year on November 11th, the United States of America pauses to celebrate and honor the brave people who have proudly served their country as part of the armed forces. Be sure to thank all of the veterans you know for their service to our country. The elite collection of musicians known as Tower of Power have never stopped touring, and whether at a casino theater or a classic concert hall, a Tower of Power show is always going to be an incredible musical performance. See Tower of Power performing live at the Beau Rivage Resort Saturday night. Grammy-winning guitarist Peter Frampton is one of the most celebrated artists and guitarists in rock history. After 46 years, Frampton Comes Alive remains one of the top-selling live recordings of all time, selling over 17 million worldwide. Peter Frampton performs live at the Hard Rock Casino Saturday night. 
Hard to believe, but Christmas is only about six weeks away, so Santa is rolling in from the North Pole and will be at Edgewater Mall, Santa Land, in front of Dillard's. Santa pictures will be available every day from November 11th through December 24th at Edgewater Mall. Christmas City has become a cherished family tradition for many on the coast over the years, and it continues this weekend. The show celebrates its 40th anniversary this year with over 300 booths at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum. Tickets to the events mentioned are available by visiting the various venues' websites. And you can see a list of what's happening throughout the month by checking out the Biloxi Community Calendar in the new November issue of B News Monthly. It can also be viewed on the city's website by clicking right here. We leave you today from the USS Biloxi Mast where our American flag flies high over the small craft harbor. Stay safe and have a great weekend. We'll see you again next week.